Where are the folks besides the country clubs, right? <laughs> Typically, the country club is where most um, folks hang out with, uh, with some capital. Let me put it this way. Do you go to country clubs or how do you, how do you find folks with uh, investable capital, maybe uh, untapped retirement money, which is sitting in stocks now and most people don't know that they can move it to a self-directed custodian and lend the money out? Or it is just taxable money. So, how do? You, what are the best places in a, in in a average town, America? Anyone who wants to raise capital for whatever real estate deals they have. Sure. So, as you said, I go into detail on it on the book, uh, but here they are. There's three, in my experience, there's three categories of what I call people. There's three categories of private lenders as to where you find them. The first category is what I call your own warm market, your own center of influence, people that are in your cell phone, your email, your Facebook friends. And I don't mean your fake Facebook friends, but your actual people, you know, your friends and family. Let's just call them real friends and family. Exactly. Um, The second category of where private lenders are is what I call your expanded warm market. A lot of times I'll have students say to me, Mike, they'll say, Jay, all my people are broke. My family, my friends, they ain't got no money. Well, first of all, I don't believe them. But anyway, I think they've got a fear of they don't know how to approach the people and put on their teacher hat. But the expanded war market, I say, go to where the money is. In other words, I say the more money you waller in, the more money sticks to you. So what's your expanded war market? Well, first of all, your local community getting involved in your local community, all the different social networking civic groups, such as Rotary Clubs, uh, Chamber of Commerce, uh, your local church or churches. So it, how, how can you expand your own network that you have? The third category of private lenders are existing private lenders, people that are individuals that are already loaning money out to uh, to real estate investors. And I'm not talking institutional money, but just individuals. Well, when I first started attracting private money back in 2009, one thing I did was I hired my real estate attorneys, paralegal, to search the public records looking for deeds of trust or mortgages where individuals were loaning money out secured by real estate. Well, that plan didn't work too good. In 90 days in this small area, we found one person. (laughs) I said, there's got to be a better and easier way. So actually, we developed uh, the private lender data feed, which is software that my company has and my students have access to that goes out every month and we get every new private lender loan from from public records. And we can go into the software and search by zip code how to, uh, who these private lenders are, got their contact information and et cetera. Um, another uh, place to find existing private lenders are your local, uh, I say local, not necessarily local, but your self-directed IRA companies, they have networking events. And now since we're on this side of COVID, they have in-person networking events. Well, the companies that I'm associated with, Mike, and that I know very, very well, about 70% of those account holders at self-directed IRA companies are loaning money out or they are looking to loan money out on real estate, secured by real estate to real estate investors. So those networking uh, groups, and of course, they're doing them now on Zoom and virtual as well, is a great place to network and to make contacts with people that have money that are looking to loan it out. Yeah, it makes total sense. I uh, appreciate you uh, jumping into a little bit of depth. Uh, self-directed IRA custodians uh, do have phenomenal sort of uh, universe of investors with capital. You obviously uh, need to spend time to network with them and uh, build the relationships. At the end of the day, I don't know who would loan you any money out before they get to know, like, and trust you. And, and you, you are a very likable guy. From that perspective, you should have fairly easy. Well, you you not should you 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 have fairly easy time uh, getting people to um, uh, 
no like and trust you and 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 that's this that's a step number one and uh I, I i agree with you it's your close family you're a little bit of the extended family and then obviously the professional sources mm-hmm.